Hey guys, Active Galactic Videos is here staying in Los Angeles, more specifically West Covina. And we're gonna do a little test. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna count the stars. Let's go. All right, so from our count, there's about three dozen stars you can see in the sky from West Covina. Two of those are planets, Jupiter and Saturn. So if you live in Los Angeles, you can see about three dozen stars. Light pollution exists and it is a serious problem. It wastes our energy, it's unhealthy, it hurts ecosystems, and honestly, it just kind of sucks to not see the night sky in its full glory. Let's take a look at a light pollution map of the world. If you live to the east of the Mississippi River in the United States, or in Europe, Japan, South Korea, or China, it is very possible that you have never seen a truly dark sky in your entire life. You might think you have because maybe you laid in the back of a truck with your significant other at some farm in Ohio. But if that's the case, you would be wrong. The light pollution problem is also getting worse. These maps estimate how light pollution has changed in the United States in the last 75 years. And if you can't tell, the dark night sky is shrinking. A great example of this is Griffith Observatory in the heart of Los Angeles. It was conceived by Griffith J. Griffith at the beginning of the 20th century, and construction began in 1933. At the time, light pollution was somewhat of an issue, but nobody could have foreseen how much of an impact it would have on all telescopes in California. Now, over 80 years later, the Milky Way is completely invisible from Griffith Observatory, and the observatory has taken on the role of educating people about astronomy and the light pollution problem. The light pollution problem might seem intractable. Obviously, we can't just tell people to stop using electric lights. Fortunately, this is a problem where small changes can actually make a big difference. One change that a lot of cities have been making recently is switching their old sodium street lights to new LED lights. LEDs are way more energy efficient and they can save cities millions of dollars. But there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way. The city of Tucson is very considerate of the astronomical community which is based here. And that's why when it replaced 18,000 of its streetlights recently, it was able to reduce the sky glow of the entire city by 7%. But on the other hand, some cities have used the improved efficiency to just make all of their lights brighter. The International Dark Sky Association has created a program to designate communities and areas which have made a commitment to fight light pollution. These areas are known as dark sky reserves, the largest of which is Flagstaff, Arizona, showing that even big cities can take a step in the right direction. You can find more information at darksky.org. There's also a way to measure light pollution on your own. You can buy or download a dark sky meter which uses the camera to measure ambient light. Next time you want to know how much light is in your sky, you can find out. 